This program is paid for by Innovative Medical Associates. All opinions or statements expressed on the program are solely those of Innovative Medical Associates or their guests and do not reflect the opinions of WPHT or Odyssey. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT, WPHT HD, WOGL HD3, Philadelphia. Now, Health Watch. Featuring Dr. Molly Fantasia, the PhD doctor and founder of Innovative Medical Associates, with valuable information that could help you improve your quality of life. Now, Health Watch, and your host, John Damasi. So, what do you do on a rainy Sunday <laughs> in the summertime? You listen to the radio and get healthy. That's what we're here for, all right? Good to have you with us as always. Health Watch is the program. Every Sunday we're here, 8 till 9 on Talk Radio 1210. And as you heard the man say, Dr. Molly Fantasia is here. She is the Ph.D. doctor, the executive director, and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates, located in Marlton, New Jersey. And as always here on the show, we discuss the who, what, when, where, why, and how of Innovative Medical, what they do, how they can potentially help you and anyone you know as far as your health is concerned. And as always, we welcome your participation on the program at 855-839-1210, 855-839-1210. Anytime during the course of the show, if you have a question or a thought or a medical challenge you want to run by Dr. Molly, just pick up the phone and call us, 855-839-1210. Good day to, to, to get healthy, Dr. Molly, as always, and listen to the radio because exactly. we're, we're not sunbathing today. <laughs> no, we're not. And you know how I feel about sunbathing. You still have to watch, right, That's John? right. That's yes, right. please. Yes, I, I got the... Um, I yeah. got the scolding a Good. few weeks ago. Yes, you did. Good man. <laughs> so, so I've been I've been following your your yeah. lead and using your skincare product. Right. Or, listen, I'm not pushing my skincare product, but what I am saying is you must use a sunblock sunscreen. Thank All right, you. we we have a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about some some cases this week that have come up and very fascinating stories as well. But overall, we'd like to start the program by discussing what Dr. Molly does, what Innovative Medical is all about, and how it can potentially help you. That's easy, John. <laughs> <laughs> we are. It's, it's, it's easy to talk about, but it's a hard concept to get. And I appreciate you starting the show with that. Uh, bottom line is that Innovative Medical Associates is a cooperative of healthcare like-minded providers, which means that we can do primary care. It works out of my facility in in uh, Marlton, and we are a licensed primary care facility. So obviously, the healthcare providers can do anything that they normally would do for someone with primary care. So you come in and you need an antibiotic, we can write for the antibiotic. You need something for your blood pressure, they can write for the blood pressure. However, it is our philosophy that is totally different than most primary care facilities. Your philosophy is different. That's right. But talk about the methodology, what makes that different. Yeah, well, we believe, we believe that we can effectuate change and we have some of the documentation in fact we have a lot of documentation to prove it we can effectuate change by using natural products to help a patient with their medical challenge and possibly get them off of prescription meds and the vehicle by which we do that is a hydration vehicle but we use vitamins, minerals, amino acids. These are naturally occurring substances, and they're God-given in many cases. So um, that is the difference, and that philosophy is huge, hugely different because we're going to eliminate the side effects that come with a lot of these drugs that are out there, including the new ones, by the way. Uh, and some of the new ones, are worse. You, you've talked to me about them, and you've said, boy. <laughs> I, I had a patient this week that came in with one of the new uh, cholesterol-lowering drugs. He's been on it for four weeks and he was pretty sick and i said well did your doctor tell you about the side effects of this drug yeah but my cholesterol is 262 and he's worried because i had some cardiac issues in the family i said well have you ever thought about chelation totally different mechanism so that's what i'm saying we offer many modalities to help a patient get off of their meds and most cases we can get them reduced if we can't get you off all right let me tell you my story this week so ah. thursday thursday and i always ask you on the show does this work and people ask you does yes. it work yes so here's a perfect example i came in thursday and i really felt terrible you looked terrible and 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 you said to me well listen if you can't do the show on sunday call me right because at that point we didn't think i'd be able to do it right and so uh, you put a special 
blend together I of did. your protocols. I did. And uh, and I thought I had COVID. The lovely right. Linda tested me. It was right. negative. Right. And I'll tell you what. Friday, it was like 100% better. Exactly. And uh, I do a show on Saturday. I was able to do that, and here I am today. So I didn't think I was going to be here well, this week. Well, you know, <laughs> we, what I did was I hit you hard with anti-inflammatories, and we hit you with a high dose of vitamin C, additional, additional synergistic uh, homeopathics, and as a result, and antivirals, because I was sure that you had a viral exposure of some kind, just intuitively, the way you looked. You looked like it was like a cold yes. kind of thing, yes. but a really severe a, a, one. A, a bad cold, yes. Right, and I said, oh, he's going to go on the air and say, oh, I, I broke my streak of have, not having a cold. And <laughs> look at this stuff. Oh, oh. No. I said, listen, John, I didn't even like the idea that you had a possible, possible exposure to COVID, so I hit you hard with our post COVID and our COVID remedies. So it, it, to answer the question, does it work? Here I am. So obviously, obviously, obviously it did. And, and, and that's a question a lot of people ask you. I guess the other question would be, well, why does it work? Why do these things that, that you're doing, and, and in my case or in any other, other case, why does it work? Well, it works. I mean, natural substances have been around for a long time. And if you remember, uh, <laughs> there's an old rule of thought that said, let your food be your medicine. Yes. Okay. Hippocrates said that, gosh knows when, before our time. Maybe. Yes, way before <laughs> thousands, our time. Thousands of years ago. And it is true. Within the framework of food source or natural products, there are constituents that are known to a lot of other cultures that really have medicinal value. And the question is, the reason why we love the hydration is because we're able to give those constituents to you in a therapeutic level at which your body can respond. And then the body, of course, God has programmed us to go to homostasis. And it's not just one ingredient. No, no, no. It, it, it's the synergies be, it, of, of right. several ingredients, you know. And that is really the key to this. That's the art to this, which I believe we do better than a lot of other places. Well, you've developed over 600 right, protocols right. in your career. Right. And you're always developing new ones. Right. It, you can't help it. And, and it's it's not just and, one thing. It's not no, just vitamin and, C. No, it's other no, things. No, and I will tell you, the climate has made it so that I'm back to the drawing board for a lot of things because as you know, the, the uh, FDA and the powers to be want to stop a lot of natural substances. Thank goodness glutathione is off the ban list, and it's thanks to people like who are listeners who helped do that, John. They were trying to oh, cut they, that out, right? Exactly right, and thank goodness that the Alliance for Natural Health and other folks got together, including our listeners, because there was a heavy-duty, um, I understand, a movement from our area to tell their congressman they didn't want that. Right. I, so, I, I remember hearing that yes, commercial. Yes, so it was yeah. great. So let's let's talk about uh, when you're talking about the synergy and sure. you're talking about uh, your protocols and all of that stuff. Uh, is there like one protocol that works better no. than others? or it, there, there are many traditional protocols out there. For 25 years, people have been doing allegedly these kinds of things. The question is, you have to understand what where the patient is, what are we trying to resolve, and what constituents within the framework of the natural substances can be used together to intensify the the outcome for the patient in a positive way. All right, we're coming up on our first break of the morning. Our program is called Health Watch. You'll find us here every Sunday morning, the live version from 8 till 9 here on Talk Radio 1210. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here. She is the Ph.D. doctor and the executive director and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates located in Marlton, New Jersey. And if you have a question for Dr. Molly, 855-839-1210 is our number here, 855-839-1210. With Dr. Molly Fantasia, I'm John DeMassey. We both return. More of today's show after these words. Back here on Health Watch, operators, as always, when we're on the radio, they're standing by at Innovative Medical. And the number is 856 489 That's 856 489 Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey. Give them a call. You want to sit down with Dr. Molly? The initial consultation is complimentary, and that's really where you can ask a lot of good questions and get a lot of good answers from Dr. Molly as to your particular situation. 
So what you do is call and set that up. You can do it right now, 856 489 And the website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com is the website. And our program is called Health Watch, and you'll find us here, the live version, every Sunday, 8 till 9, here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. You have a question for Dr. Molly right now, a medical challenge? The number here in the studio is 855-839-1210. And Dr. Molly, this is a fascinating case. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you, I mean, it really, talk about 21st century medicine. You've talked about this patient with the ACL tear. Now, this right. is something you hear from athletes. Oh, yes. That they tear their ACL. And he is an athlete. He's a runner. Right. And, and and you'll hear that they're out for six months or a year or nine months, whatever it is. Right. This is a long-term thing, a long-term right. healing process. And and you have a patient who is completely healed. And how did you do that? Well, Jeremy actually came to us approximately four months ago. So it did take a little time. And what we did was we used juvenile cells, or MSC cells, along with some other things like peptides, etc. And Dr. Kaska actually led the team on this. And uh, a little bit of my concoction and Dr. Kaska's work, handiwork, she was able to inject the athlete. And um, we said, let's give this a good try because he said he really didn't want to be out for the six months. He's very athletic. He has five boys. He, he himself is the dad of five kids. And his wife is an athlete, so they're really into a really good, wholesome lifestyle. Good food, good, you know, exercise, etc. So the four months in and of itself was bothering him to not be able to exercise the knee and the leg. But I have to say that we have the beginning MRIs, and we just had a, an MRI done about two weeks ago, and the thing is completely healed. He came in on Tuesday of this week to see Dr. Kaska and myself and one of the physical therapists, Dr. Carroll, and we saw the knee, we saw the x-rays, we took him off of the brace, we now are telling Dr. Carroll, assessed him for how he should approach his physical therapy because he lives pretty far away from us, somewhere up near uh, above, uh, about 35 minutes above King of Prussia. From Malta. It's pretty far. It's yeah. pretty far. Mm. But he was really diligent at coming in. And I would say <clears throat> the the thing is the juvenile cells, the they were the basis for this. But it, it really was Go ahead. Go ahead. To, <laughs> it, it happens once in a while. I'm excited, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, the juvenile cells were the one issue. But then we hit it with protocols that included the the peptides, the platelets, growth factors. So this guy's doing really well. And that's step one to this process. So normally, and we talked about six months, I mean, you, you, you hear athletes, yes. you know, a, a yeah, lot of a times, lot of have, guys. A, a, a lot of the football players, the baseball sure. players, they tear the, I mean, I remember the Phillies had a guy a couple of years ago, he was out the whole year. Exactly. From, from May through the end of the season, he Listen, was out. Listen, the bottom line is, look, yes, surgery can do this right away for you, yes, but the recovery from the surgery is no piece of cake. He had to stay off of his though, uh, knee for four months. There is no question he had to do that. But I'm telling you, he was thrilled with the outcome because he said, I was very worried. He has a spinal problem to actually compound this. And he said if he had the surgery, he, do, he makes a lot of scar tissue. So he said, I was very concerned with my spine if I did the surgery and I might have some additional scarring. And I was very worried about the inflammation process. And you know what? He was right to worry. Do you see this as uh, becoming more commonplace in the well, future? Well, I think it could become more commonplace in the future. Uh, the use of, of these cells definitely can be. But I think, again, it's, how, it's really an entire protocol of how you do these things. Look, this is not Ponce de Leon. You put it in, and now you have the cells <laughs> of when you were 20. Right. It doesn't work like that. What you need to do is have a really good grasp of the cellular biochemistry of all of this and the molecular biology of this and I, that we could get into that oh now. we, we have yeah. plenty to talk about good. with that but we're going to go to the phones we're going to talk to uh, mary in bucks county mary good morning Hi. welcome to health watch and you're on with dr molly hey mary how are oh, you this is wonderful this is mary hello dr molly 
How you doing? I've had this, um, uh, oh, what? now I can't remember. Take I'm so your time. excited. Um, <laughs> COVID. Yes. And I just can't get rid of my, my energy. I want my energy back. Exactly. Exactly. It's awful. Mary, Mary, come in and see us. I will tell you that we have a post-COVID protocol that is working. It takes a little time. It takes about five weeks, I would say, for you to start to feel a little better. But I can tell you that a lot of my patients, what John was talking about earlier, a lot of my patients feel the effects of this particular protocol fairly quickly. And then they go back to their primary and they say, hey, why isn't this like everybody's? And he goes, oh, well, you know, just take some vitamin C. No, it doesn't work quite like that, Mary. You need a uh, an amount of the vitamin C that actually will do the trick along with some synergistic other uh, antioxidants and maybe some of the, um, I would say, the homeopathics to enhance this and sort of be the bridge, the scaffolding to make all this work. But there's definitely hope. Mary, can I ask how old are you, dear? 94. Oh, my God, oh, you sound child. fabulous. <laughs> you know what? I just started a patient. This is funny. I just started a patient, 96, darling, who started with me this week, who also had post-COVID. And um, she called me. She started on, I think, Tuesday. I saw her on Did Tuesday. Did you see yeah, her? I saw her? Tuesday. Yeah. She started on Tuesday. John, she called me on Thursday and said, hey, Dr. Molly, I have to tell you, I'm feeling better already. I said, now, don't go out and do an Irish jig, will you? Because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, we got to be careful. All right. But, well, Mary, there is hope, honey. Well, Molly, I teach four classes of yoga uh, God a bless week. you. I used to God. have six, but I've been teaching <laughs> yoga 55 years. God I've never bless taken you. a medicine. I've never taken a drug in my life because I was raised in the health movement. Uh, God bless uh, you. With Gaylord Hauser and all those guys. But oh, yeah. I don't know. This, I had it in November. And I'm yes. still lagging. And I go to yoga class and teach. Uh, well, B twelve is the only antidote I know at this point. I can't. No, nah, not enough, honey. Not enough. Listen to me. Call the office. Come in and see us. Have somebody drop. Come on. Come with a friend. You'll love the you'll love the facility and I'm we'll trying talk. to get people interested and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring a lot of people are. I wish you'd have one in Bucks County. I wish I did too. Okay? I wish I did too. Mary, thanks <laughs> Thank for the you. call and, and God good bless luck you. with that, okay? God bless you. Good luck with everything she, there. Now there's a delight. Because yeah. she's a delight. That's exactly. Look at the long life she's leading, right? 94. How 94. About how about my woman this week? She was 96. I couldn't believe it. Well, that was interesting because they sat across from me. Yeah, weren't they and great? And she had someone who, who her, drove her. Yeah, her, her, girl, her lady friend. Yeah, and, and afterwards they said to me, you know, I think you're the guy that's on with Dr. Right. Holly. I that's said, right. yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but you know what? Already she started to feel better. And I said, look, it's not holy water. I expect a little dip. But, you know, come in for, you know, the five treatments, and we're going to tune you up. And that's the other thing. It, if someone's in good shape, like Mary is, yoga, eats right, knows healthy lifestyle, we can probably we can knock this out maybe in three weeks. You and I would sign up for 94, wouldn't we? Yes. Right now. Yes, we? right now I would. God bless her. I mean, and I mean that. God and, bless and her. And still teaching yoga at 94. God bless her. Wow. But that's wonderful. Movement, John. Movement. Very important. Well, you've often talked about it here on the show, and you've talked about it in your practice, that you got to stay active. You definitely do. You, know, you have to do. stay active as much as you can. Exactly. Which exactly. Is, which is why I'm getting physical therapy in exactly. your facility. You've got to have movement. It is really, really important. Listen, one of our own colleagues is in this problem, right? She has she has a spinal issue. She had a fracture, right? She's doing better, but she's not perfect because she couldn't remain active during this period of time till we were able to do the MRIs this week and find out that the fracture had heals, but she still has osteoporosis. Here's the thing. Women don't realize... You've got to stay active. Now, you've got to do it judiciously so that you don't do more harm to yourself. And that's very important as well, John. Uh, we're going to talk. We're, we're coming up uh, shortly uh, on a break, and we're going to talk more about uh, what you've been talking about as far as the patient with the ACL tear. Yes. And he was completely, I mean, completely yes. healed. Unbelievably. Which is, which is really a great story. 
But we're going to talk about uh, something's happening in Australia. Oh, yes, that, yes. That, that you're very excited about. Absolutely. And, and it seems like, and I ask you the question, is this the wave of the future? It's here it, now. It seems like more and more this is happening. That's right. Where th- th- this... This is a different type of surgery is happening. Well, uh, procedures. Procedures. To help. Yes. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Yes. And I agree. Stem cells. They delivered the stem cells directly to a cardiac patient after an MI. And it's an interesting thing because they added something that I believe in very much. They added a gel, and it's the scaffolding. It's the it. We can talk about this after the after the break, John, because I know I'll get into something here. And part of our problem is the regulation here in this country. That's why people are going to Costa Rica and uh, Mexico, Australia, and Australia, <laughs> wherever right. to get this done. And it's a shame because this is happening right now the science technology for this is can be right now and being done and we hope that someday it's going to be able to be done here yes and i know it will be and i tell you why listen already we're doing prp platelet rich plasma and you know i have the centrifuge for it it's it's now a legitimate medical process Ten years ago, eight years ago, nine years ago, no, it wasn't. Couldn't oh my do it. God, right. couldn't do it. Five years ago, when I got into the game, they said, "Oh no, Dr. Molly, it's not an approved thing." Okay, everything starts somewhere and ultimately becomes accepted. All right, we're coming up on uh, what we call the halfway point of the show, which means you still have plenty of time to call in with a question or a comment for Dr. Molly, or you have a medical challenge you want to run by, or this is the time to do it. The number here in the studio, 855-839-1210, 855-839-1210. Our program is called Health Watch. You'll find us here every Sunday, 8 till 9, here on Talk Radio 1210. With Dr. Molly Fantasia, I'm John DeMassey. We both come back. More of today's edition of Health Watch after these words. And we're back here on Health Watch, operator standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates. You can contact them right now at 856 489 0505. That's 856 489 0505. You can get a lot of your questions answered with an initial consultation with Dr. Molly. And at that point, you can decide whether you want to move forward or not. It's very simple, and it's an easy process. All you have to do is call and schedule it, 856-489-0505. Again, 856-489-0505. Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey. And the website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com is the website. Our program is called Health Watch, and you'll find us here, the live version, every Sunday from 8 till 9 on Talk Radio 1210. And if you have a question for Dr. Molly, 855-839-1210. That's our number here in the studio right now, 855-839-1210. We were discussing, Dr. Molly, about this. uh, Actually, you can say this is a stem cell procedure that was done in another country. in, in, In Australia. Correct. Because they're putting together a study. And, um, you know, they used uh, MSCs, which I believe in this case, uh, uh, which uh, they used the stem cells, I I suspect, from cord and or amniotic fluid. Uh, But but nonetheless, what they did was they put this directly into the MI, which was the damaged part of the heart. And there have been other countries that have done this, and I've read some of the data that came out of Mexico, some of the data that came out of Costa Rica. And what I found interesting, early on, about five and six years ago, they would just put these things in, and um, some, some took and some didn't, right? Some of the cells died. And so when you think about that, one of the things I have always been thinking of since PRP, actually, the platelet-rich plasma, is why does the platelet-rich plasma tend to help so much? Well, it's because of the scaffolding effect of other cells in there. In other words, it actually helps the, the stem cells go into the area and do the job, which is to repair tissue, etc. And when you think about this, they use the gel. They actually use the gel. And I believe, now I can't say this, please, people, don't beat me up if you have the study because I'm trying to secure the study from a data site for scientists. Uh, I don't want to just read it from Dr. Google. Um, but I bet you anything what they did was 
they made a gel, a hydro gel, which means it has some water in it, some liquid, and it probably has platelets in there, which then give the patient the growth factors, the cytokines that are necessary, and the things that are necessary to help those seeds grow in that spot. So it's like putting the seed in, watering the garden, and then putting the feed. Do you see this kind of thing being done more and more I do in the future I do I'm reading more and more about neurodegenerative diseases like this and I will tell you I believe the ACL uh, patient that we had did so well because I have said from the get-go that we don't just put the particular solution into the patient's knee or wherever we deliver the solution, I had a discussion with my physicians. I said, start reading this, guys. And they did. And they said, wow, why didn't we think about this before? You have to use some other things, probably through hydration. You have to use some other things in order for the these particular cells, these MSCs, to do the job, to actually set. Do you see this as maybe replacing, uh, trying to understand this, Stents are common for for well, problems. Is I, this going to be instead I of? I think I think what it's going to do is is I think it's being used actually right now. I know it's being used in a facility for congestive heart failure. Okay. So it's really remodeling the tissue and the muscle of the heart, and I think you're going to see more and more of this. And like for post cardiac to repair the tissue that was damaged. That's the key. The key is it's going to really be. Uh, really on the regenerative physician to look at this and say, how can I use this along with scientists to say, what other things can we mix with this and really do the job? That's why our, our facility is so great. Well, it reminds me of like taking a car into the shop and getting a new engine. Yes. That's kind of what it reminds yes, me of. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I think we certainly gave this guy new tires. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's why I'm thrilled. And again, I want to go back to the fact, though, what did he do? He re- He's the kind of patient that you want for this kind of thing because his lifestyle showed that he knows how to hold down the inflammation in his life. And, he, and he's active. Very so active. that that, that Very helps active. a lot. Absolutely. Uh, okay. uh, and, and the rest is in God's hands. Right. 855-839-1210 is our number here. If you have a question for Dr. Molly, you have a medical challenge, you want to run by her, this is the time to do it. We do have some open lines here in the studio, 855-839-1210. It's Health Watch, Sundays 8 till 9 here on Talk Radio 1210. We're we're going to talk about, and you, you touched a lot on this last week, chronic inflammation. Oh, boy. And something you call plausible deniability. So you want to... Plausible deniability. You want to work this into the show? Yes, I do, because this is an important concept. It occurs when an accepted cause of an issue actually helps the patient avoid the real cause or the underlying cause. So what I'm saying, I want to use some examples. Uh, What I'm saying is you are so used to the acceptable reasoning that you really forget, you deny that there could be another cause for your problem. An example of this is every time I get a patient in who said they have nerve pain. Okay, nerve pain. What what does our physicians do? Well, they get together and they say, okay, we're going to send them out for MRIs. Okay, we're going to send them out for the x-rays, the CTs. We're going to send them out for EMGs, and we're going to send them out. And then if it's still there, we're going to send them to the pain management guy. Okay, but they can't find any underlying real cause for the condition, all right? But the way that they look at it, The deniability comes in, like when a patient comes in and says, well, I'm having this. I think my doctor told me it's from my pillow. Okay. (laughs) It's from your bed. If you look at TV, it's from your bed. It's from your pillow. It's from everything in the world that can cause you to have the stiff neck and pain in your neck. Right? Right. Well, is it or is it an underlying chronic inflammation that makes the nerves set on fire? And I would tell you that probably in 90% of the cases, when we see the CT shows that the spinal issues and the facets coming off the spine are not involved, 
I would bet you when you really get down and you sit down with them, and when my docs finally send to me, come on in on this, Dr. Molly, tell me what you're thinking. And I go through a litany of things, and I find out this patient eats uh, junk food, and this patient (laughs) is now not only eating the junk food, but drinks five martinis at lunch, and this patient is taking in a whole lot of cheese and crackers, and all of these things that what? Contribute to chronic inflammation. And if you contribute to chronic inflammation through your diet, did you know that people, lots of people who have headaches, we talked a little bit about chronic headaches, migraines, they come in and I find out that every night they have an excessive amount of cheese, crackers, and and a couple of martinis. Well, do you know that some of these things you can have two weeks ago and can still be giving you the inflammation process. In other words, the body's reaction to this is its foreign substance. It is causing the body to what? Go into an inflammation mode. That's bad. So I would think logically that there's an anti-inflammatory diet, right? Correct. And there's an anti-inflammatory diet. There's an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. And more importantly, look, As I say all the time, we're not going to be the food police, but how can I help you with this? You know, there are a lot of people who have to do social things for their jobs. I see many of them. They're entrepreneurial in my place, right? Sales, John. Yes. I see it in industrial sales a lot. Well, what do we do? We then put them on a course of anti-inflammatories in terms of the hydration. Also... I see that some people, I had a patient come in this week. This is another reason why this came about. She works in a funeral home. Do you not think she is taking in a ton of fumes that are environmentally unfriendly? Absolutely. You bet. And some doctor told her, well, you're not actually in the embalming room. And I thought about that, and I thought, well, what the heck does that mean? The woman's still in the environment, and she mentioned to me that she spends, you can, while these things are happening, she has to go in and out of this area to give the funeral director some information, et cetera. And she said, I started thinking about that, and I said, he told him, you know, oh, don't worry about it, it's in your head, don't worry, we'll give you the new medication for migraines. Well, I told her, listen, gather up. All the information you have from your previous physicians, come in and sit down and talk to one of my physicians and myself, and I believe I'm going to look for some environmental issue that's causing what? A subclinical environment where we're having chronic inflammation. All right, we're coming up on our final break in the morning, which means you still have time to get in here with a question or a medical challenge you want to run by Dr. Molly, 855-839-1210 is the number here, 855-839-1210. Our show is Health Watch, Sundays, the live version, 8 till 9, here on Talk Radio 1210. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, the Ph.D. doctor and the executive director and founder of Innovative Medical Associates. And I'm John DeMassey. We're both returning. More Health Watch after these words. Back here on Health Watch, operator standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates. And we should remind you, that just because we leave you at 9 o'clock doesn't mean they go home. They're there. <laughs> you can call this morning. You can call this afternoon, 856-489-0505, 856-489-0505. That's the number, Innovative Medical Associates, Marlton, New Jersey. Check out the web, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. A lot of good things and new things on the website each and every week. So if you checked it out last week or two weeks ago, well, there's some new things on there, so check it out. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com is the website. Don't forget, if you miss any of this morning's program, we have our Health Watch replay, 4 until 5 this afternoon here on Talk Radio 1210 couple of minutes left of the show, which means you still have time to call in with a question or a medical challenge for Dr. Molly. 855-839-1210 is the number here. 855-839-1210. We were talking about anti-inflammatory and and a diet. Sure. I want to ask you, does chelation help with this? You better believe it because chelation can go in and claw out 
some of the environmental issues that are causing this. They can claw out the calcium buildup that has occurred because of this. So yes, chelation using the amino acid EDTA or other amino acids and using the high dose of the anti-inflammatory uh, nutraceuticals are important. And the thing about this, John, is the thing I say all the time. You know, inflammatory process is important because without it, we wouldn't have wound healing. We wouldn't have uh, breaks that could be casted and uh, brought back the bone, brought back to its health. We wouldn't have any of that. The inflammatory process helps the body. But I go back to the thing I say all the time, Goldilocks. It has to be just right, not too little, not too much. And if we don't use anti-inflammatories, if we don't use things like antioxidants, and if we don't give the body a boost, well, then what happens is the inflammatory process from bad diet, bad lifestyle, environmental toxins, etc., takes over. And that can be a cause of chronic, unspecified type of pain. All right, we're going to go to the phones. We have Kate in the great Northeast. Kate, good morning. You're on Health Watch, and you're on with Dr. Molly. Hi, Kate. Hi, Dr. Molly. How are you? Good, honey. How are you? Oh, good. I'm good. good. I'm 95 years old, and I God need bless some energy. You. Come and see me. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I need energy. <laughs> Tell me something. What do you? What kind of? Well, first of all, God bless you. Ninety-five. John and I were talking on the break about this. <laughs> we'll we both we, sign up we for that. We both want to sign up for that. <laughs> and we, I think, obviously, you've been li- living a pretty good lifestyle. And I yes, know I genes. Have. Genes, of course, have something to do with it. But as I say all the time, it's not the only thing that counts. So tell me a little bit. Do you take any vitamins or anything like that now? Yes, I do. I take God quite a few you. vitamins. God yes. bless you. But God I, bless I, you. I just, I just, I just <laughs> feel that I have my main problem is compression fracture. Oh, but my fr- my my. Oh. Uh, uh, my uh, chiropractor's been taking Good. care of that, Excellent. but it just seems I cannot. I cannot seem to not want to go get out of bed all the time. I'm right. just so tired. Right. I wake up tired, and right. I was always always like that. I was always like that. But I also <clears throat> I also take uh, acid reflux, which huh. is taken care of, and right. um, I take low bl- low blood pressure pressure. Uh, but that's about it uh, as far well, as the main thing. Well, I'll tell you what, you come on in to see me, have somebody help drive you down here, and I will tell you, we'll we'll tune you right up, because you (laughs) sound like a perfect patient, and as I said, we just started a wonderful woman in 96, and I will tell you, and I had a patient uh, for a very long time who was 100, uh, John just reminded me, she was 106 years old, and she probably still, let me tell you something, she would still be with us, I believe that with all my heart, you know, except that she, she did right, right on and that's why i want you to worry about those compression fractures you don't fool around and i really mean that you try to you, you know we can give you a little something too to help with uh building a little bit more of bone strength you really need to do that and if you call my office and you speak to barbara I will mention to her that you might be calling because we have a particular, I don't sell, I don't make this particular nutraceutical, but I would advise you guys to get on it, okay? So okay. It will help build bone. Okay, honey? God bless. All right. God bless All you. Right, Kate, thank you very much. Great call. Good luck Great with call. everything. Great call. Appreciate it. Great call. And you know what, John? They're the kind of patients I love to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting a run today. You had a patient, 96. Right. Then we had a caller, 94 and 95. Yeah, God bless her. And <laughs> now we've got to get somebody, 99. And what's it tell you? It tells you that she takes good vitamins. She's going to a chiropractor. She probably eats a very low anti She eats an anti-inflammatory diet. And that's what I'm saying. It's chronic inflammation that causes us the problems. Uh, we got a couple minutes left of the sure. show, and I know you wanted to mention this because next week is Father's Day. Right. And to show the importance of fathers and the visionary tactics that they have. Your dad bought you a chemistry set when you were five, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and my father bought me a tape recorder. There you so go. here we are. That's it. <laughs> In our 70s, and right. we're doing this. <laughs> well, I certainly I certainly uh, love my father very much because uh, – he, he was instrumental in uh, telling me that I could do something. I, I could do what I wanted to do. That and, I and you did. And Absolutely. I did. And I did. And, 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 uh, 
And we bring that up because your men's health protocol oh, wow. is, yes. is, is really very important, and, and I know we're going to talk more about it next week. Of course, because it's Father's Day. But. Right, but what, what is it about? What is it Well, one for? of the things I would say is that we know men after a certain age decline in testosterone, and but what I think happens is because, you know, there's so much advertising going on right now about ED and all this wonderful stuff. When they have the best acoustical wave out there and they have the best this, best that. By the way, acoustical wave's been around for years. Yes. It's been used as a modality for physical therapy since I was a kid. Just it's many improved. And the best one out there actually is German made, as usual. They're very accurate, very precise. But the point I'm making is it's not enough to just treat your particular symptom of ED with uh, a blue pill or more testosterone shots, or, or and or the acoustical wave. You need to really look at what other underlying conditions are there. I would tell you that, by the way, men in my group right now are feeling so much better following a chelation, chelation, IVs, meaning hydration, chelation, giving them nutraceuticals that are specific for men's and men's health to help boost their testosterone levels naturally and using the acoustical wave. Because why? We're looking at global circulation. And if you don't think that your heart's involved when you have these ED issues, Look again, guys. Look so again. what you're saying, it's a, it's a comprehensive program. Exactly. And it does use hydration. I, you know, I can't say on TV, oh, there's no pain, no needles, no this. No, we're going to, we're going to treat this as a global systemic issue that's affecting not just your ED, but your overall health. And that's really important because I will tell you something. Most guys, and I love, I love my men patients. You know, that. Yeah. I have a great time with them. I believe that they believe if they were great athletes and they were this, they're in great shape. And I also have a big problem with guys who've used steroids, meaning anabolic steroids, up until they're 60 and tell me, we don't know why we have these problems. Well, I can tell you why. You've turned off your own, what? Your own hormonal cascading. And, you know, it takes time to get it back. But I'm telling you right now, anabolics are not the way to go. They affect your um, fertility if you're a young guy, and they certainly can cause you some aging if you're an older guy. And I believe you had a good friend who passed away yes. from anabolic yes. steroids. Yes. And what happened? He had cardiac issues, yes. right? Yep. And I'm seeing men now who are in their late 50s, early 60s who are coming to me who used anabolic steroids. And I'm telling you, there are more natural ways to get the effectuation that you want, including more powerful uh, sexual prowess, etc., by using some things that God's given us. And with that, we are going to put the wraps on another edition of Health Watch. Don't forget, if you uh, want to talk to the operators who are standing by right now, you want to make an appointment to sit down with Dr. Molly. The initial consultation is complimentary, as we always tell you. 856-489-0505. 856-489-0505. And the website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. And don't forget, if you missed any of today's program, we have our Health Watch replay this afternoon, 4 until 5, here on Talk Radio 1210. For Dr. Molly Fantasia and everyone at Innovative Medical Associates, the lovely Linda, Barbara, delightful D, fabulous Fran, Joanne, and our nurses, Jess and Lana, and our medical assistant, Karen Kathy, I'm your host, John DeMassey. Always a pleasure. Thanks for listening. Have yourself a great week and a healthy one. We'll do it all over again next Sunday. Health Watch, 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. You take care.